So I think the most important part about going through these trainings, going through these plants, is understanding the processes, understanding the why is behind it, right? We went over the details, right? Went over MES standards, went over NSPP, right? Went over these little details that, that contributes to Dix and contributes to the athlete experience, right? You guys are team sports. You guys are hardline. We're not outdoor teammates. We're not just baseball teammates or softball teammates or soccer teammates. We're hardline teammates, right? If outdoors is struggling with either operational processes or just they have a lot of athletes, we're all going to go in and help. Just like when somebody falls down in the NBA game on the field, you go there and you pick them up. We want to come here. We're going to pick up these athletes. We're going to pick up Chase. We're going to pick up Jaden. We're going to pick up you, Christian. We're going to pick up everybody, right? How do we become experts in what we don't know? That's one of these points, right? So we all know everything, even if we don't know, right? When it comes to athlete experience, the athlete expects you to be the expert. They're shopping here and they think you're in fishing. They think you're in team sports. They think you're in outdoors just because you're there and because you're the expert. They're going to use you for your, your knowledge. And we're going to have some knowledge. And that's the importance of these clinics is absorb it, learn it, and just it all connects to the athlete experience. Where are you fishing? Where are you going? You're going on a boat. How big is your boat? You going to neighborhood ponds? What neighborhood ponds are you going to? Are they brackish water? Are you going to be fishing rivers? Are you fishing lakes? You have a kayak on a kayak you got? You got some sunscreen? You going with your family? You going with your friends? How long have you been fishing for? All that within five minutes goes a long way to the athlete. And that's where we come from talking about the athlete experience, right? The strike points are the most important parts of the store. When I'm in golf and I want to know where fishing's at, I look over and I see the blue wallpaper. The blue wallpaper is there for a reason. It's not just there to look great. It's there for a reason to catch the athlete's attention, right? If I want to see everything from all the way, I'm going to see that strike point, right? I want to know where fishing's at. I want to know where team sports is at. So when we go into house of sports, we talk about the house of cleats. The rock wall, our Yeti shot, our multi-sport cage, those are strike points. Those always got to be top notch. And so all of this that we're going over today, whether it's team sports and outdoors or fishing, all connects to the athlete experience. And you guys are going to be great at what you guys do. Because why? That athlete has to have an impactful visit. And that impactfulness comes from you guys. And if you guys aren't there, what are they there for? We have a beautiful store and store's going to look amazing. But you guys have to execute and that's where they were to execute. Engage, excite, and execute. You're engaging the athlete, talking to them and giving that athlete experience is exciting. Executing goes a long way. And if you execute, they will come back every week to speak with Chase. They'll speak to you, Jane. They'll speak to Brianna, right? They'll come back for practice goals for you. They'll come back and talk about soccer with you. That's how we, you know, we remain impactful. So as you know, Chase walks you through this fishing department, just please absorb it. I don't expect you guys to be experts, but I expect you guys to try. Try and learn and try to absorb. So of course we're in a, uh, we're, we're in a smaller store. So of course this team sports department is a lot more smaller than the one we're gonna be working in. Um, the store that we're gonna be in, how the sport is gonna be, our baseball department alone is gonna be about maybe twice as big as what they have here. So with that being said, the productivity that we're gonna have involving bats, um, gloves on the wall, you know, baseballs, uh, accessories, we're gonna have much more variety of product when it comes to how to sport. Everything that goes on the wall is either gonna be a pro stock baseball glove or a pro stock softball glove. Um, the price point for them, the new price point is gonna be $249.99 and above. Um, that just went into effect, I believe it was April. Um, with the wall, we have graphics, we have Rawlings graphic, we have A2000 graphics in baseball and softball. Those are the gloves that we're wanting to uh, visually put here so that we can sell them to our athletes. They're also MES with what's called a, I believe it's called a wired, it's a wired screamer. So if you go into a PDT, you go into merch search and go to security tags, it tells you exactly how to MES a glove to the wall. Come closer, I'll teach you guys something. Come on, come on, come on. So if I go to any glove on the wall, this is anything that's supposed to be MES sensor. You scan the glove in the merge search. You see it pops up, go over to security tags, and it's gonna tell you exactly how it's supposed to be censored uh, according to the company. So baseball gloves, feelers gloves are gonna be 99.99 and above. So that's just a six inch screamer. It goes between the ring finger and the middle finger on the glove. It looks like this. You go back, 
The ones on the wall get the six inch screamer and then they also get uh, the wired sensor. It's also called a coiled, coiled cable. It actually shows pictures on what it's supposed to look like. So you see how the six inch screamer is between the middle finger and the ring finger? Well, that wired sensor or the coiled cable is also supposed to go between the, uh, between the sensor as well. These right here are BB core bats. So then we have the drop three and minus three. Can we take drop three? So drop three is gonna be the length of the bat minus three ounces. So that's what's the way it's gonna be. So if it's a 31 inch bat, do 31 minus three, and that makes it 28 ounces. Um, MES standards for all bats is gonna be 99.99 and above, they get a bat lock. Um, anything that's 199.99 and above, they're gonna go on uh, an actual block like this. So hard marks indicate whether the price went up or it went down. Uh, orange hard marks indicate that the price went down. So the original price price might have been like one hundred and twenty dollars. Well, now the price is now one hundred nine ninety nine. Um, that happens whenever we do a we do something called scan and activate. That's also through the PDT and then you use a printer to print out the hard marks and then put the appropriate one on on certain bats. So a white hard mark uh, indicates that the price has gone up. It's very important that we put the correct color hard mark on the bats so that we know um, if the price is going up or down on, on the product. Also helps customers figure out the pricing so they're not having to ask us uh, every time they need a price for something. All right, so right here, this is all where all the Yeti's at in this location. This end cap right here, these are all new Yonder bottles. It's the newest product that Yeti's released to us. So this wants to be a big selling point is Yonder bottles because it's new, it's fresh, people want to see it. Something Yeti's never done before. Something bright, you know, that's what they want. And then as you see right here, this is all green Yeti. It's not the newest color they've released, but it's one of the new ones. So that's a focal point that Yeti wants to see. They want us to sell this to the athlete. They want the athlete to buy the green Yeti because it's one of the newer colors. You know, it's not the newest. They got this one right here, which is the Rescue Red, which is the newest one they have. You know, it's bright. That's why it's towards the front. You know, if you're walking down this aisle, what are you going to see? You're gonna see this bright yet red Yeti. People are gonna buy it, they're gonna like it, all right? If you look at this wall, you know, this store does a pretty good job of Roy G. Biven, you know? That's how we want everything to be colorized in our store, you know? From lightest to darkest. Start with white, and with black. You know, it looks nice, neat. People are gonna buy that. You get attracted to it, it's nice. And another thing about Yeti, traditionally, on the shelves, you'd have a little PDT label with the pricing for this 20 ounce cup, this 30 ounce cup, but for Yeti, they've got one big sign that's gonna tell you all the sizes and bottles with all the pricing, you know? You don't have to put a lot of PDT labels to make the wall look messy. You know, it's gonna look nice, neat, you no, know, just random PDT labels, different prices, nothing to confuse the athlete. They can just go off of this one sign right here with all the prices, get all the information off of that, you know? Every color, size has a different price. So right here, it's one of the best things that Yeti does is this generic pricing for everything. So when you guys look at this pad, what do you guys think? What do you think this pad represents? What is it, you know? Outdoors. Hydration. Hydration, outdoors, what else? Um, like a, like, like horse, like baseball. Horse, baseball. All right, so what we call this pad would be called go into the game, you know? This is going to have all your wagons, hydration, leecher seats, uh, umbrellas, stuff that, you know, a mom and dad and their kid is getting all their t-ball and baseball stuff to go to a game. And then they're going to think about themselves, you know, what do I need while I'm watching the game? You know, I need a wagon to hold all the equipment, all the snacks. You know, I need a bleacher seat because those bleachers are hard and stuff. You know, they want to sit back, relax, watch their son or daughter play a game, you know? All right, what else? There we go. What do you guys see right here? <laughs> what do you think about this end cap right here? Organized. Organized. Okay. It's got some coolers on it, you know. Everything they want to be pushed forward. Like this one. Everything wants to be to the front. It wants to be good, organized, neat for the athlete. Organize all of them, you know. And what about all these chairs right here? What do we see? Oh, they're leaning, they're leaning, over. leaning over. Unorganized. It's not very inviting. Yeah, it's not inviting. Perfect for the athlete, you know. They want to come in, see something clean, neat, organized. That's going to make them, you know, entice them to buy. You know, add more, get their UPTs up. We're one team with one goal. Whether we're racing hard lines, apparel, or forward, we're one team. No baseball, no softball, we're one team. That's all I got.